I'm honored to be on this panel, uh, sit next to so many beautiful people I admire and respect so much, people that are proving um, that you can ease suffering, you know, proving that the human spirit uh, was born to thrive if given the chance. I mean, there are many times when I feel like I'm just a lottery winner because you look at this list of athletes, um, Andre, Mia, and Annika, and, and Lance Armstrong, and Muhammad Ali, and then my name is right there, and I'm like, really? <laughs> is that really, are you sure? Um, but it's, it's a great honor, and, and I'm, I'm happy to carry the torch sort of of the, of the outside sports, the alternative sport. My pleasure and uh, honor in serving on the board of Athletes for Hope, and part of what we hope to do today is talk about how each of us in this room and the organizations that we represent and the athletes that we work with can take that inspiration and create the movement at our local level. The popularity of, of our sport, uh, but of sports in general, uh, really directs us to, be, to try to be leaders in social responsibility and to use all of the assets that we have and our players and our brand and our business uh, to be active in communities in need around the world. You know, simply put, if you're going to be a great company, uh, it is not just about dollars and cents and returns on equity, it is about giving back. My goal is to take my passion and my drive and my dedication from the golf course and uh, move it towards uh, making a difference. You know, if we, if we say we care, um, then we have, to, we have to act. That's what we have to do. So how do you, how do you not just stick a Band-Aid on issues and how do you get to the root of it? How do you really make systemic change? In the lives that Andre and Lance have changed, um, I, I, am, I was blown away. We were talking about numbers and, and Andre looked at me and he said, don't get caught up in that. He said, you're making a difference in people's lives and that's what you need to focus on. When I had my, my skiing accident back in 1988, what I realized is I joined a group that I had no desire whatsoever to join, but I became an advocate for that group. The least I can do is to is to help others who may, you know, who may not have that support. There might be the next, you know, the, the next Tony Hawk slash Ryan Sheckler slash Sean White living in some little town that has no support because he does something different and, and we are helping to make a difference and give them an opportunity to shine. One of the many victories that I have um, uh, felt along this, this path has been Athletes for Hope. Um, because it started with the realization that while each of us separately and individually have achieved a lot, enough to create a platform for ourselves to, to do the things we dream about, we've actually realized that even in our privileged position in life, um, that we're much stronger standing shoulder to shoulder.